Hello, Brittany Parker. Today we're gonna do a bronzy kind of golden goddess look for sitting around the house. Cause why not? <laughs> it's summer and I just wanna feel a little bronze today. It's not warm as I wish. This is Glow Illuminator. It is one of our cream illuminators. It's one of the darker ones. I'm actually going to start with this bronzer just to warm up my face. And I'm just gonna put it kind of like where I'd put the contour bronzer kind of feeling, okay? So wherever you're putting your contour, your bronzer, your cheeks, around your forehead, I'm just gonna give a light little layer just to help warm me up. You can come across the bridge of your nose even. These are creams, they do blend. Okay, you can bring it down your neck a bit. Now I'm still gonna come back on with some Bella once I put on all my creams, but this Glow Illuminator is such a pretty, pretty illuminator. Have you guys seen the I'm gonna kill this. It's like the elephant dew drops or something that people are putting on before they put on their makeup and are just giving them like the best glow ever. This is a dupe. Get Grab some glow illuminator and really it's just gonna give you that bronze goddess kind of a look before you even start your makeup. Okay, so before I move on though, I am gonna do my under eyes. I've been loving Demi for my under eyes. It's Lex, it's... It's less texture, and when you have eyes that crinkle and wrinkle, less is best, okay? So this is the Bright Brush. It's my favorite brush for Demi for under the eyes. Now, if you have blemishes, <laughs> little spots on your face, you're gonna get the Spot Brush. It's a lot better. Before the under eyes, I have a larger trough area, so the Bright Brush is my favorite. This brush needs to be cleaned. Okay, moving on. So this is my Demi. Um, I will color match you, so... Demi is a science. Are you purple? Are you blue? What's your color that you need co covered? Um, send me a bare face selfie and I'll let you know. I'll let you know my colors, but just a heads up, if you go ahead and grab these, they may not work. They may work a little bit and there might be something better for you. So the selfie, the color match is important. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go into Y01. It's this yellow orange and I'm just gonna hit the deepest color. So it's not like a regular concealer where you're just gonna swipe it on. Nope. Now I did put some of my Demi Balm, if I could find it. Um, the Balm is glorious. The Balm is so clean and so smooth. It's right here and I just put it underneath my eyes and it just helps my Demi just to glide on. I don't have to use as much once again, less is more, it's better. So I'm gonna go tap into Y01 and I'm just hitting those dark areas. And do you see how it just immediately brightens and just, it cancels out the color, the dark purple and blue. Now this is makeup, not magic. My friend Amanda, her favorite line. Um, the thing about makeup is if you have texture, you're gonna have it. Like I have bags, like I have wrinkles. No makeup in, in the entire world is gonna take those away. So I know that it's really just gonna help take away the distraction, but my face is still my face. And I've kind of, you know how you, how you kind of age? Like when you were younger, you were so concerned about what everybody thought and I'm, I'm getting past that. Like <laughs> I'm getting to the point where I'm like, whatever. Like, you know, I... I don't care what other people think. <laughs> I guess that's like the joy of growing up. Anyways, I was saying all that to say that you kind of fall in love with your skin. Like I have these marks on my face. I have a little mark right there. That's when I got chicken pox when I was 11. I was 11 and I got chicken pox with my sister Courtney. And I remember sitting in our underwear on the couch dying covered in chicken pox. Like you kind of love, you learn to love your face, your skin. It's like your experiences and your story. And so I think as you get older, you're like, whatever, this face is mine. I'm, I'm keeping to it. Now I did dab into my Y one that's pure, just yellow. And just right where I have the darkest right here, right by the bag, I kind of want to bring that forward. So that's why I'm getting the extra bright color just to kind of help conceal the bag a bit. Not take it away, I'm just helping to hide it. Okay, there we go. So there's my under eyes. I still have my bronzy glow. It looks a mess right now, don't worry. I'm just really using it just to kind of give me an extra 
you know, glowy look. Okay, I'm gonna go into my main highlight. My main highlight is Athens right now. That has no, no nothing to you because once again, my colors, so I have a hair. My colors are not gonna be your colors. Um, maybe for similar skin tone, but if you want a color match, let me know. And actually, I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna go into my detail brush and I'm gonna go into indigo. Look how dark that sucker is. I'm sure you look at that and you're like, you're, there's no way you're putting that on your face. Well, yes, I am. You just tap right into it. Okay, it's not like a swipe. You don't need tons. And I'm just gonna put my makeup on normal. So it goes, your, your contour goes at the perimeter of your forehead. Just helps to give you a more dramatic look, which I'm all for. Dramatic look, but really natural because we naturally have shadows on our face. We naturally have darker areas and brighter areas. That's why this 3D cream foundation really does work because it's mimicking all our natural. We don't have one flat color on our face. We have a lot of colors on our face naturally. And so that's what we're mimicking with this makeup. But that's why it's such a natural glow. Okay, so here's my contour underneath your cheekbones. And I like to blend up as I go. Don't go in further than the outside of your eye. If you do, it's okay. We're just gonna brush that back and it'll be okay. All right, contour. Right there, I always start at the back, bring it forward. And I really do like to blend as I go. There's my bronzer. I'm bring just a bit down. I do have some jowls going on here a little bit. You just take your brush and I kind of just roll it, honestly, just a little bit higher, not on the whole thing. You don't want contour way up there, but on my jowls, I do help bring it up a little bit and it gives it just a sharper look. It's gonna blend out too, so don't worry. If you bring it a little too high, my main highlight's gonna go there too, so it's gonna be okay. It'll blend. Bring this guy down your neck. Okay, I have a lot of discoloration on my nose. I put a light layer into my Athens, my darker highlight, and I'm just kind of brushing that on. If you have any redness, this is what you could do with Aspen, which is a kind of cooler gray kind of contour color. It's great for canceling out redness. So if you're rosacea, just super extra red, try Aspen or try your main highlight. There's even Mango, which is a darker one that's really good for taking away um, any hyperpigmentations. Okay, so I just tapped it on. I'm probably gonna have to go in after. These are creams, so I'm just gonna get the side of my brush and just kind of like a stencil, like I'm back at school, and just kind of stencil it down into the brow and then on the nose. This is why this detail brush is worth it. This detail brush is like the perfect shape for getting all the angles of your face. Can you do it without? Yes. If you're just gonna get one brush, try the 3D. But really, my very favorite too is the detail and the blush and bronzer. These two, this is the best dynamic team until you have a party and you get free brushes. <laughs> you can earn credits towards free brushes or you become a sane artist. My team is always open. You let me know. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go to my 3D brush. And now that I have my contour on, so the perimeter of your forehead, your cheek, uh, your jawline and your nose, you could even add some underneath your lip. Just like that, just to help a little illusion of a powdier lip. Okay, so same thing. You're going to dab, not swipe. Dab, dab, dab and you're just going to bring it down your jawline there. But it really helps to even out your skin tone. If you have any blemishes like moi, I'm gonna hit those after. Cause this is all buildable. Buildable coverage, your contours buildable coverage, the highlights are all buildable coverage. If you like light and airy and natural, You'd use a soft, fluffy brush. If you're going out somewhere fancy, you're like more full glam, you're gonna get a dense brush, like the buff brush, and it's gonna really help pack that makeup into your skin and just give you a good full coverage. It's really, it's up to you. The whole, my whole compact, I gotta pick exactly what I wanted to put in here. I gotta pick the color, the size, and so do you. That's like kind of the beauty and the cuteness of Saint. All right, so, 
My main highlight, what you think of as foundation, went along my jawline, up on my cheeks. It never went over my contour because this is a one layer system, okay? I'm gonna actually bring it below my contour on my forehead. Now, if you have a smaller forehead, skip putting your mane on your forehead and just put your brightening. I still have a good size forehead. <laughs> so I like to bring it up on my forehead. Okay, after you get your mane, my contour, there's one more that I think is part of the 3D cream foundation is my brightening. And that's what you think of as your concealer. So you're just gonna tap, okay? You do not need a whole swipe. And I already demi my eye. I really am not gonna put a lot. I'm just barely brightening that inner and outer corner. And then I'm getting rid of all the redness on my eyelid because I have a lot of discoloration. Look at that, <laughs> a lot. So this is gonna help to give my eyeshadow one flat base. It's priming it, it's getting it ready to go. So I like, I always bring it up. So I'll just kind of tap it, but really that's it. And it just gives a little bit extra brightness you could totally skip it. If you have a lot of, if you have very mature skin, skip your brightening and just do some Demi underneath or give it a try. See what you like. Tap, 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 not a whole lot. And really I like to bring it into this inner corner. This inner corner is gonna help like give the illusion of a brighter eye. And I'll tap down on the outside and then I'm not getting more, just whatever's left on my brush, I use to Prime that eyelid. If you're like, wait, I do need more, just tap a little bit more and there you go. But start light, never go in with a heavy hand. Always start lighter than you think. All right, but look at that. It's already giving like that glow, it's really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna tap, same thing. The brightener's gonna go down the center of your face. Like you drew a line down the center of your face, down the, your forehead right here down your nose, your cupid's bow, and then your chin. That's exactly where your brightener's gonna go, okay? I like to kind of bring that up. All right, I'm gonna go into my 3D brush, but really you could do, you could see how this is the blush and bronzer and this is the 3D. If you look, these two bottoms are very similar. So really you could do either or, but I've already used my highlights on this one. I'm just gonna stick with my 3D brush. And I always start with the lighter contour, the lighter highlights first. And you're really just blending it all together. These are creams. They're all the same texture. They're all the same, you know, makeup. So they just blend together. The highlights, the contour, the bronzer, they're all cream. And they're all blending like butter. All right, so I start with highlights first, all stippling motions, and then I'll move on to my contour. So the contour on my cheek, I underblend. I'm gonna be adding a lot to the, my cheek, and I like a stronger cheek anyways. So I just kind of bring that up a little bit. Same thing with your forehead. Bring your contour into your hairline. Don't forget your jaw. This is your one spot where you're gonna blend down because our shadow's below our jaw, right? Or, our jawline, our chin. So blend that guy down. Okay, for my nose, I have a crazy nose. It's okay, like I said, where you know you kind of just gotta learn to love your face. That's where I'm at. Bumps and marks and spots, it's my face. So you could just use your finger. You could use your brush. You would just go down along your nose. Don't just go and swipe, swipe, swipe. You're gonna get rid of your contour. Also, I really like also if you have more mature skin or you're learning and you're putting way too much on, use this Perfector Sponge Damp and it's gonna help pick up any extra product. Okay, there it is. If at this point you blend and you realize that you have lost a little bit of your dimension and you're like, wait, where's that contour? You just can bump it up. I like to do this. I like to bump it up after I blend Maybe I blended it out too much, <laughs> but it's okay. It all works. But you could just bump it up to your liking. But if I went really heavy handed in the very beginning, it's harder to go backwards. You know, that's where you have to take your sponge and try to like take off or your brush. You could take this really fluffy brush and even swirl it around, try to pick up extra product, but build as you go. I think it's a lot better. Okay, 
Um, favorite time, my bronzer time. I have the one and only Bella. I'm going to bounce into Bella and into Rose Gold Illuminator. And it's going to go in your mid brow. Or your, this it's going to go in your mid forehead. Now remember, I'm going for a really golden-y, I'm going for a very bronzed look today. Because I think it's pretty. Okay, it's gonna go on your high points of your cheeks and I do kind of bring it up into my temples. It's really a, a, a little C. So top of your cheek, your mid forehead. That's where your bronzer's gonna go. And like I said, I always put it next to my illuminator. I'm just bouncing back and forth. Now, Bella and your bronzers are, are a little bit more sheer. So they still like give you coverage, but not like the contour in your highlights. Okay, flip it over to the fluffy side and I was kind of brush back. Okay, bring your bronzer down your neck if it doesn't match, which a lot of ours naturally does not match. It just kind of helps to marry your face, your neck, your chest, all of it. I could have even taken the bronzer and the illuminator and gotten my collarbones, the little, you could take some illuminator and get the, you know, the fronts of your shoulders. Look at that, if you're wearing like a pretty dress to, a, to like a wedding, pop it on the shoulder right there your collarbone, bring it down your neck, just gives an extra little oomph, okay? I don't know why I'm getting fancy. I have nowhere to go. <laughs> okay, let's see. Decisions. Lip and cheek, what do I want? Let's see. I've been doing this combo a lot lately. So this is Melody. It's one of our shades of the season in August. Let me show you how I do it. So I take my blush and bronzer and I start in Melody, which is a satin. Okay. Get a little bit on your brush and I'll pop that on. If you have acne scars or breakouts, zits on your cheeks, I like to put a satin first just to kind of give a stronger or more of a coverage on your cheeks. But you can see it's just more of a natural kind of flush to your cheeks. Very natural looking, okay? So tap right back into it. Bring on this side. I had somebody um, saying that, they're like, I'm just putting my blush and my bronzer kind of in the same spot. It kind of is. It's just like all blended. You're just kind of working it all together. It all works together, I promise. But look how cute. This is just Melody. It's a very natural pretty glow but do you see how extra glow i am today that's the glow illuminator that i started with okay now though i like to add a little bit of i really like august this is august it is a more of a gloss but it kind of just moods it up a bit it's just a little bit kind of a glossy plum but can you see that like oh so pretty <laughs> if you are somebody who's kind of nervous about illuminator you can just pop a little like i'm going over my whole cheek but you could just pop it at the top of your cheek and these glosses can also work as like an illuminator for you but this is melody first and then i'm just topping it with august and it just kind of gives it just a little bit more of a moody kind of i am got the golden goddess thing going on okay it's pretty all right there we go Okay, I'm gonna go into my contour and now I have the multitasker brush. This brush is used for so many things. If you are looking for just, you have a lot of the face brushes, like the 3D brush, the detail brush, blush and bronzer brush, it's time to venture out. Try the multitasker brush. It's really great for brows, for lining, for spot checking, for putting on powders and glitters, and for lining your lips and doing your lips. So I'm just gonna tap into my contour. Yes, my contour. And gonna line my lips. Now I'm a mess lining my lips. I get it all right here. <laughs> it's not like my number one skill. Okay, people, I have other skills and that's okay. Um, but I, so because these are creams and they all work together, I can clean it up in literally two seconds. So I'll take my finger and I kind of just tap it. And I'm just gonna put August on. That's the top one that I put on. It is the gloss. Wow. 
You could use the multitasker brush. You could use just a finger or pop it out. You literally take it and you just rub it on your lips that way. You could do either or. It's because I was saying I'm kind of a mess, this is the detail brush I was using for like my brightener. I did not add any more. There's still makeup on the brush. You just clean it up. Just tap it out and there you go. It's fixed. Today, I do have a really pretty kind of a look for my eyes. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna start. I did put my brightening highlight on my eyelids and now I need to set it. Don't forget to set. makeup I have bird stardust and Riviera and it is really a pretty kind of metallic-y bronzy look um and I do have that extra glow if I say so look at that um so make sure you finish off with the setting spray my favorite is Charlotte Tilbury and let me know if you are interested in a free color match all right Brittany Parker and signing off to go sit on the couch all right bye